In Bulawayo, everybody's talking gold. Politics are taking a back seat. And not far from the city, small gold workings, some abandoned years ago, enjoy a new lease of life. The soaring price of gold makes it profitable to dig again. There have been no fabulous finds of the precious metal in southern Rhodesia. If there ever were any, they happened many centuries ago, and it isn't known to this day who made them. Nowadays, it's a matter of digging the rock, crushing, washing, sifting, with gold dust as the end product. Nobody makes a fortune at it, but as the price goes up, hopes rise too. When there's a world gold shortage, every little helps. Though that man at the back there doesn't look enthusiastic, the Africans themselves will profit by the boom, taking good wages home. Of course, it needs a lot of rock to produce a little dust. So for anyone keen on being a millionaire, this isn't the industry. But a glance at the latest prices, quite encouraging. 